Alright guys, so I had the idea of making a huge Fortnite creative city and just seeing how much you can build while using all of the memory and this is it. I made a big ass city, at least the biggest you can get on Fortnite creative with the size of our island and the memory usage limit. And the best thing about it in my opinion is there's actually a lot to do. It's not just empty houses and good looking, there's obstacle courses, there's so much actual activities you can do. So. Without any more talking, let's uh, let's get into this. All right, so first up, we have this yellow house. Inside it, you have an obstacle course. So I'm just gonna try it now. I might have to cheat a little bit because I'm probably not gonna get it first try. But essentially, if you ever played those Minecraft parkour servers, this is essentially that, but in Fortnite. So, oh my God, I can't believe I made that jump. Okay, it makes sense I had to screw up after, but essentially, you just always gotta try and get to the top of these buildings. There's about two of these. And there's another obstacle course somewhere else, which is way harder, just because it's longer. I mean, don't get me wrong, the obstacle course itself is hard. Okay, you're meant to be able to get on that, you can. It's just I jumped a bit early. Anyway, as I was saying, the third obstacle course, it's possible. It's just difficult. It's so damn long. There's also a maze, which is really entertaining. Like, I didn't make it just a regular. Okay, how did I fall off that? My feet clearly touched that metal at the top there as i was saying there's a there's a maze it's really interesting because there's like activities and stuff you can do inside it like i made quite a quite a conscious effort to make everything inside this map actually entertaining and not just there for the sake of being there okay on the other side of the road apart from these two you got this nice little plaza is that what you call it i don't know what to call it there's some sort of name you got a library over here not really that interesting when you're on a creative server because obviously <laughs> man can't take the books. If I fly over here a little bit, you have a house. Right. Don't ask me why I put a house in the middle of an urban city. Like, it doesn't really make any sense, but for some reason I don't think it even looks that out of place, right? Like I feel I feel like it looks quite normal there. So you go inside, I mean, it's a full a full house. There's a, a bed and everything upstairs. Probably shouldn't be here though. You can probably hear, by the way, in the background, a disco. Let me just can you guys hear that? Like, there's there's a disco. Let me just enter that. I made this thing so you can just have, like, literally the most badass entrance ever. Yo, who does not want to enter a disco like that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, a little outdoor disco area. There's another disco somewhere else. Over here, if I fly up, basketball court. Do you think? Do you guys think? First take, by the way, if I... If I get this in, I'm, I'm a special human being. Yo, where the hell are they? I, don't, I wish I was a bit closer, to be honest, but... Yo! I'm a baller. Right, let me just go over here. I'm going to show you the maze first. Because the other two things over there, which I want to show you, the obstacle course and the racetrack. If I do those on creative, I'm low-key going to destroy half my map. So, I'm just going to show you this maze here. Obviously, I made this. So, I can't really show you properly. But this thing is entertaining. I feel like if you were new to this... If you were new to my server and you hadn't done it before, and like it, it'd just be fun, right? I put stuff inside here. There's courses, obstacle courses, places where you can. Okay, I'm. Okay, yeah, th this is not good. Okay, I've seen people die like this. This cannot happen. <gasps> not right now. Whew, that was close. Right, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of this place, but essentially. It is actually a fun maze, there's so much in there, which I'm not going to show you right now, just in case anyone wants to do it. Here you have a little marketplace, on the first take of trying to make this video, I literally rammed a quad crasher through half of this, had to rebuild it, so that's why I'm only going to do that stuff on when I've started the actual game. Here's a nice little park area, you got a kind of restaurant over there, I don't know what to call it. Restaurant, fast food place, maybe? Right, now I'm going to fly over to the obstacle course there and the racetrack over there. Let me just turn on the actual game mode, by the way. Indoor disco, by the way. Yo. Tell me that's not lit. <laughs> right. I kind of feel as though I am just going to get angry if I try and do this obstacle horse first try. So I'm just going to cut to the take where I actually successfully do this. At least a significant part of it. Because this thing, it's, it's hard and long. I don't know what possessed me to make this hell of a course. But hold on. Yo, I'm... I'm, oh, okay, I would have got that. Right there. Right there, and finally, I got past that same spot. 
literally died on the first style for my second, third, and fourth attempt. So what is that? Oh my god, that was way too close. So was that. Oh my goodness, this is tense, man. Because these ones are difficult. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yo, I'm getting far this time. This could be it. This could actually be it. All right, all right then. Yo, even if I don't get it this time, I might actually just use this one. Ho, ho, ho. That was close. I know it. I know I didn't. I almost didn't make that. Right then, right then. Loki bossing it so far. I'm not even on creative, you know, so... Oh, that was close, that was close, way too close. If I die here, like, obviously I can't just fly back. Oh, yo! So damn close. How did I not make that? I thought I timed that perfectly. Well, screw it. I'm using that one. The hell, why did it spawn me here? All right, guys, that was the obstacle course. Now that I think about it, there was one other time on another take of making this tour video, which I got really far, I died the exact same spot. All right, here you have a car park. Inside there, you have a mountain course. I will not try it because, like, I can never get past that spot right there. There's a sick racetrack over there, which I can't wait to show you. But first, I'm just going to show you quickly here. Little restaurant I made. Kind of sweet. Over here, next to the obstacle course, there's actually an apartment complex, which I haven't filled up out because... A, screw filling this thing with apartments, and B, I was out of memory anyway. Inside here, you have this sweet little Harry Potter garden sort of thing. Friend helped me out with this. Actually, it looks dope now. And right next to that thing, you have a little diner. Kind of cute, kind of sweet little diner. Good place to take a girl on a date. And finally, we get to the racetrack. Hold on, my camera battery's running out, so I'm just gonna replace that before I show you guys what's inside. All right then, so here we have this big, massive wooden building. I imagine people would just be like, what the hell is that for? Well, you come inside, I can't really, I can't really do this because uh, I have, I have build permission. So obviously if I try and boost or anything, I'm just going to break stuff. I mean, I can still show you the course. So if I just fly around here, yo, it's so annoying not being able to boost. I'm not even going to lie to you. And I'm actually so bad at it. I think I just reset the record for world's slowest time on my own course. Anyway, I think that's like 90, I'm totally about to, how did I not break that? Yeah, no, I can definitely build. Right then, I can't, I honestly can't remember what I have and haven't showed you. So over here, there's a restaurant or more of a fast food place called Big Shot. Did I just break something? I feel like I did. Yeah, never mind. Big Shot Restaurant, Big Shot Fast Food Place. You know what? Never mind the, the sign says espresso. I don't care. That's a fast food place. Over here, got a nice little park. Kind of sweet. I mean, you just chill out here. I'm just going to talk like this is a real map because why not? And finally, I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to remember what I have and haven't showed you guys. Okay, so I think I have showed you the disco because that, that door is open. But if I haven't showed it to you, let me just go right over right now for the ultimate freaking entrance into the party. I mean, I feel like I probably showed this to you. Anyway, I think that's nearly all the interesting stuff. I'm just going to go over here, show you the other disco, which is an indoor one. Yeah, over here. Kind of wavy, kind of rave-like. I don't even know. I look, you wish you couldn't hear the sound of your own dance, but hey. Oh, last thing. Last thing. I'm pretty positive. This is the last thing which is interesting to show you, or the last highlight. So if I run up here, I mean, there's a few buildings, like that one's a shop, that one's like uh, some sort of apartment complex, so is that one, like kind of boring to be honest. So let me just run up here. And if I go here, you guys ever play Minecraft again? This is like another thing of ripped from that. Pretty much it's a spleef map. So you're here with a ton of other people and you're trying to knock them down while trying to stay up yourself. And if you fall through the last layer, and then essentially, that happens. And if you're unfortunate to fall in one of these things, that happens. Anyway, I feel as though that's everything on this map. Actually took me way too many takes to record this. I mean, it's a freaking tour video. How do you mess up with that? But I don't know. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video or you liked the map, make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications and like the video. 
And we'll see you guys in the next one. I am the Dragod. Peace out. Peace out.